fighter that was now ravaging the panic-stricken countryside. Juliet has the evening off. 13 on your side and 5 starts right now. You're watching 13 on your side. Hey, if you are afraid of spiders, you might want to avoid a vacation out east this summer. An invasive species is expected to start parachuting down oh, from no. the sky. Find out when later at 5.30. Well, you may have seen stories of large parachuting spiders on the east coast. Some reports say they are soon expected to spread to other parts of the country. 13 on your side's Elena Holland spoke to some spider experts to learn more about this arachnid. Imagine a red and yellow spider about the size of your palm falling from the trees. Well, that's the Joro spider, which is in Georgia. The question is, could it come here? Spiders may not be everyone's favorite. The spider has beautiful chalicera. But for Bob McAndrews... They don't call me Bob the Spider Hunter for nothing. <laughs> He's a spider enthusiast with a YouTube channel documenting his spider hunts. I have 10,400, last I looked, subscribers. The Joro spider, Trichonophilia, or trich Trichonophilia, came to Georgia from Asia in 2013. It's a unique spider, uh, like they all are. It's very colorful. They can travel in the wind, a process called ballooning. So the spider does balloon, and it can let out enough webbing that even a bigger spider can be lifted off the ground by the winds and go wherever it takes it. You don't have the ability to, to direct your parachute, but... Uh, the spider has been living on the East Coast, but could spread West. Bob thinks it could happen. I think it has an opportunity to go West, young man, you know, or young gal. Why? Because it can handle winter like a true Michigander. This spider is known to uh, survive the cold. As a matter of fact, this spider, more than most spiders, it won't be killed by frost. Whether or not we know for sure? It's hard to say. Howard Russell is an entomologist with Michigan State University. He says the Juro spiders are big. I think they kill the palm of your hands. And may be a little scary looking, but they may not be a threat to humans. You know, any spider will attempt to bite, bite if, it's, if it's threatened. Um, these have very small fangs and not likely to penetrate human skin. Overall, spiders are a crucial part of the ecosystem. Spiders are predators primarily, right? I mean, they, they, they catch in and eat other insects. And Bob <laughs> says he almost hopes they do come to Michigan for that very reason. But this spider seems to see those, those stink bugs as, as a delicacy. For now, it's too soon to tell if the Juro spider will make its way to the Midwest. But Bob hopes people don't run away from it if it does. You really don't have to be afraid of these eight-legged things. Oh, but they're creepy, they're crawly, they're, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're that. Uh, but they're really not out to get you. Elena Holland, 13 on your side. Hey, Bob the Spider Hunter here. And uh, breaking news, right? Yeah, breaking news on the Juro Spider that's making all national media go crazy with a frenzy of information on the Juro Spider that's invading the east coast of the United States. Um, well, uh, the spider has been first seen there, I think it's in 2014, so it's not like it's new news. It's just uh, been growing news, and now it's at a frenzy, <laughs> as I just said. Uh, what I want to do is kind of cut through some of the fake news, if you will. And I don't even want to re really use the term fake news, because I think it's more hyped news. Uh, with, with phrases such as invasive species, invading the East Coast, parachuting down <laughs> well uh that's hyping it and uh, i'm gonna just try to spend this time together with you with a little teaching i want to cut through some of the hype and talk about the facts that as i see them 
and I see them presented by experts and give you a little taste of what's really going on with the Juro Spider. So stay tuned and let's go to starting this special teaching on the Juro Spider. I'd like to begin with some of the uh, the hyped news that I've seen, and you may have seen it as well, appearing on media, whether it be newspapers, magazines, or the news itself, live uh, news. I want to begin with some of those things first to give us a, a place to, to jump off from, okay? Let's take a look at some of the news that's been promoted in the last year. The first is Live Science, and I just found them on the web, and they deal with uh, things in the sky, in the water, on the ground, anything to do with scientific information. Under trending, they had giant invasive spiders have taken over Georgia. Will they spread across the U.S.? Well, what grabs your attention there? I would think first thing you'd see is giant. That means large or big. And then invasive spiders, that's the other one that's interesting, what have taken over Georgia? Wow, what an invasion this is, huh? And will they spread across the United States? Well, if you had arachnophobia or fear of spiders, that would grab your interest. You might think about leaving the country, wouldn't you? Yeah, giant spider invasive <laughs> taking over georgia better better re remind the georgians that they don't own the place anymore it's being taken over by spiders and then of course they're spreading across the united states of america we'll get to these ideas from this news alert a little bit later what's next the Live Science report went on to say millions of palm-sized flying spiders could invade the East Coast, scientists say. <laughs> For me, that kind of brings up old memories of the Wizard of Oz and the flying monkeys. <laughs> spiders are called flying spiders. Oh, <laughs> that would get your attention, wouldn't it? And then they use the word invade. Wow, that almost sounds military, doesn't it? You know, like like back in World War II, the parachuters dropping out by the hundreds and hundreds out of the planes to the ground below to carry on warfare and the battle. Well, in the small caption, it says the large spiders use web parachutes to fly as far as 100 miles at a time. Sounds pretty scary to me. Well, not really, because I understand what they're referring to. And basically, we'll cover that in just a moment. It's using a term that's really a hype, get their hook in you to pull you into the story kind of term. Yeah, parachuting spiders. And the Hexapod Journal says invasive Juro spiders cloak North Georgia. I don't know, was that like a cloak and dagger story? Or does it mean they've completely covered over the state of Georgia? Oh! <laughs> and then from AccuWeather.com, we have this. Under U.S. News, March 14th, 2022. Zillions of large Juro spiders have <laughs> played the East Coast. Experts say. NBC News gets on the act by saying giant spiders to invade East Coast. March 10th, 2022, 
giant Juro spiders expected to invade the East Coast this spring. And then on the top it says, Parachuting spiders the size of your palm are making their way across the East Coast. Here's another source of media with interesting things to say about this spider. And I like what they say down here. Not accurate. It says the photo shows a female Juro spider, also known as a parachuting spider. I don't know of any experts in arachnology or arachnologists who call this the parachuting spider. And on and on it goes. Um, countless media activities. And even in my local news, uh, Channel 13, WZZM, an affiliate of ABC News, uh, started out their segment on the spider by saying, size of your palm, that's pretty accurate. But then this idea of, better watch out, they'll be falling out of the trees, maybe on you. <laughs> well, the only way that spider's going to be falling out of a tree on you is if it had a heart attack and croaked, or for some reason it just uh, lost its footing on the uh, limb of the tree, or its web it was in and fell out on you. Not very likely. <laughs> but anyway, it's time now to let's get rid of all the hype and I want to spend some time with you. Let's go over some of the facts we know about this spider. And there's still things we don't know about this spider that only time will reveal to us. Okay, now I want to walk you through four areas that we're going to take a look at and, and see the fact versus the fiction or fact versus myth um, about this Juro spider. The first one is going to be this. 